Say hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Say I'm a big girl. Today's video is all about you. It's you. What's your name? Irene. Irie. Ireland is 18 months old and I've had people ask me about her being 18 months, kind of what that means for her, where she's at, what we do or parenting and stuff at this point. So I thought I would talk a little bit about that today. Ireland weighs 23 pounds and is 33 inches. So she's definitely on the skinnier side, which makes sense considering what we eat for our diet and the fact that she's constantly running around, literally nonstop. This girl just loves to run in circles. She loves to dance. She loves when you chase her. She loves getting on hands and knees and pretending to be a puppy. She wants me to put on bubble guppies for her right now. She loves that show because she loves the music. No. She has, let me see, how many teeth do you have? Open. Let me see your teeth. She has the four in the front on top and bottom, the two canines on top and bottom, so that's 12, plus the four molars, so that's 16, plus at least one molar. So she has like 17 or 18 teeth right now. Her second set of molars are coming in. She's constantly like putting her fingers and things in the very back of her mouth and gagging herself. It's so annoying. Ireland can count to three. She knows so many colors and words. She loves to read books, loves reading books. It's like her favorite thing to come sit on your lap and read a book. Hi, honey. <laughs> <laughs> she loves playing Itsy Bitsy Spider. Pitty. She loves opening my legs and closing them. Close. 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 She's obsessed with brushing her teeth. 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 She loves dogs. Like, absolutely loves dogs. <gasps> Go get your puppy. Go get your puppy. Get your puppy. Get your puppy. Come here. Come here. You got your puppy? <laughs> she loves holding my hand and dragging me to do whatever she wants. <laughs> Where are we going? She loves clothes and shoes. She's obsessed with putting shoes on. Where are we going? Teeth. She wants to get her toothbrush to brush her teeth. 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 She has a cool poppy toothbrush, huh? Cute. She's so crazy. She loves making noise. Like I said, she loves to dance and run around. And she loves, like, banging things together to make noise. She just likes noise. She's always been blabbing, like, always. The second she started, like, you know, gooing, Cute. gogging. Cute. She just never stops making noise. I can't even keep track of how many words and phrases she says. I'm amazed, like, it's so crazy how I don't even teach her a word. She just hears me saying things and says it. Like, all of a sudden, she says the word hummus. And I'm like, what? <laughs> how do you know the word hummus? And it's because she's asking for hummus. She wants to eat it. And she's just so smart. She's good at helping me clean up. We say, put away, and then we put everything into the bucket wherever it belongs or throw things away. She is actually too into throwing stuff away. She loves putting things in the garbage. The one problem she has is scratching herself, and I'm not exactly sure like where it comes from, but she's done it for pretty much as long as she had like coordination. She 
always used to scratch on her back, like right where her diaper would be. And then she stopped doing that, but she still scratches right, um, like at the back of her neck, kind of where like your top vertebra is. So we have to put a Band-Aid on it to cover that up. I've heard of other babies doing it. She does it when she's like stressed. So if it's time for her to go to bed and she doesn't want to, she just will sit there and like scratch herself. But she does have really dry skin. CJ has really, really sensitive and dry skin. And so she has had some eczema patches and has been known to scratch everywhere. She loves this puzzle. Huh. Up, 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 up. Help. Up. Say please. 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 <gasps> what is that? What is this? What is it? Apple? Apple. <laughs> she loves hugging everything. Like she is the sweetest, sweetest girl. She's become so loving. This over here, so you can kind of see her too um she just like grabs things like her puppy and she'll just like go like this and then she'll say so nice huh puppy puppy so nice she loves songs <gasps> what is this duck, duck. she Peeps. she loves when i sing to her especially the alphabet song huh <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Ready? What's this? Yo-yo. Yo-yo. Adios. Good job. Discipline wise, we don't want her to say Adios. no to us. If we tell her to do something and she says no, we make her do it right then and there. Adios. So she doesn't really get away with anything. She's never been one to hit or throw things. Sometimes if she wants me, like if I'm laying down on the couch or something and she wants me to get up, she'll pull my hair and drag me and she gets in trouble for that. She knows she shouldn't do that. No, no. Hey, mama said no. No touch. No touch. Mama said no. You wanna go to bed? You're a good girl. I love you. You're a good girl. You just got to be a good listener. Got to be a good listener. Another weird habit of hers is she, on her left side, pulls her earring out if she's stressed, too. It's like the same thing with scratching. She just pulls that earring out. So I've just left it out for the past like two weeks because I'm sick of losing earrings. No touch. Nope, you're gonna go to bed. Okay, you're gonna go to bed. So that little meltdown perfectly leads me into nap time. Ireland still takes two naps a day. She goes to bed around 9, 9.30. If I see that it's nine o'clock, then we'll start the bedtime routine. And she sleeps until about seven or 7.30 in the morning. And she takes a nap at 11 a.m. And then another nap around 4 p.m. Sometimes uh, if CJ's home, he'll put her back to sleep when she wakes up at seven in the morning. Don't ask me how he does it, but she'll go back to sleep until like nine o'clock. So then she'll just take like a one o'clock nap and that's it. But that's pretty rare that that happens. It's just basically on Sundays because we have church from nine to 12. She doesn't get her 11 o'clock nap time and so she needs to go to sleep earlier. So that kind of throws things off for the Sunday and Monday, but then we get back on schedule. So the reason why she was not being a good listener right then when I was telling her no, and the reason why she freaked out when she got in trouble was because she's really tired. It is so easy to tell when she's tired because she's a completely different person. She's such a good listener. She's so like helpful and loving, 
But if she's tired, then she turns into a brat, as we all do. We all get grumpy when we're tired. Ireland literally eats everything under the sun besides green beans. People ask me all the time how I get her to eat vegetables and love broccoli, and honestly, the answer is she's never had anything else. She's had like a lick of an ice cream cone and a crumb of a cookie. She's never been given soda. Sometimes I've given her juice watered down, but she doesn't get juice on a regular basis. She's never had, you know, lollipops or like normal crackers. Um, she's only had Triscuits and she eats our chips. But I mean, this girl just lives on tons of fruit, always eating oranges, apples, bananas, yogurt, freeze dried fruit, blueberries, blackberries. Like she's obsessed with frozen blueberries and blackberries. She loves smoothies. And I mean, at dinner every single day we have broccoli. So she's been eating broccoli her whole entire life. You know, ever since she was like six months old. So she doesn't really know that there's anything else that tastes sweet or better. She eats a ton all day long. She will tell you, she'll just say, hungry, eat, eat, eat. And she'll go over to her high chair. She'll ask for certain things. Like this morning she told me she wanted to eat oatmeal. Strangely enough, Ireland is not a very like motherly child. I see a lot of kids her age, if not younger, who love baby dolls and they give them binkies and bottles. Granted, we've never given Ireland like an actual baby doll, but she has these kind of like stuffed animal dolls. You know what I mean? They're just like a plush doll and she's never been into them at all. She likes her Barbie. She likes to give her Barbie high fives and point out her nose and her ears and her eyes, but definitely not like, <laughs> she doesn't pretend to be like a mom to the Barbie or to the dolls. She's always loved playing with balls. She's obsessed with playing with balls. We have so many volleyballs and little volleyballs for her. And like I said, she loves puppies. She sleeps with a puppy every night. I know she's gonna be one of those kids that's like, mom, can we get a dog, please? And eventually I'm gonna give in, I just know it. She's still wearing some 12 month clothes, like we have some onesies for her that are in size 12 months, but for the most part she's wearing 18 month clothes, even a lot of 2T clothes because her legs are long and so skinny. 18 months are a little bit too like wide and baggy, so 2T seems to be the best for like skinny and length. If we do have an issue with telling her to do something and she doesn't listen, she goes in her bed. That's her time out. Uh, she doesn't get to play. She just has to sit in her bed until I hear that she's calmed down, which is normally very quick. If not, if she keeps crying, then it's typically because she's gonna fall asleep. There are a couple apps that I do let her play with from time to time on my phone. And the only reason why I let her play with these are because they're educational. I don't want something to entertain her. I don't want her to just be watching a show. I don't want her to be playing games, I want her to be learning something. So these apps have animals or numbers or colors and when you press on it, it tells you what the letter is, what the number is, what the noise the animal makes and what it is. And she's learned so much from those. Like the other day she saw a picture of a goat and said goat. I'm like, I never taught her that. I don't like goats. If anything, I would probably teach her it's like a sheep, but she knew the word goat. So she just picks up on things. It's like amazing. I'm sure if you have kids, you know, like they're just little sponges learning so much all the time. They just pay attention to everything we do. The other day, this blew my mind. She grabbed my deodorant and put it under her armpit. I'm like, how do you know that's what that is? She's just a smart little girl. I stopped nursing her at 16 months. It was like right before Christmas, we stopped nursing. Um, she still tries to touch my boobs all the time and would try to nurse if I let her. It, she just is obsessed with me. She just likes body parts in general as well. She's obsessed with touching my booty and trying to put her hand on my shirt. She's a little inappropriate. <laughs> so that's kind of the next step we're working on as she comes closer to turning two, is making sure that we start setting these boundaries of not taking showers with her, not letting her see us change, um, my goal is to have her potty trained by the time she's two. So within the next 
few months where we'll be working on it. I've tried, she's gone potty a few times, but she's just not good at telling me when she needs to go. Until she's potty trained, I want her to see our bodies and to see us going to the bathroom and to realize like kind of how that works. But I don't want her to be able to have a memory of what I look like naked or what CJ looks like naked. And I know that kids can have memories starting at two. So I don't want any of that. I think it's super inappropriate. So I'll add some clips for you now, some super cute and silly, adorable things Ireland does. Honestly, I just love her more than I can say. I feel like we just have such a special bond. The way that she loves me, I, it's crazy. It's like, I, I don't have any way to describe it other than it's just like true love. <laughs> it's like so pure, so much love. And I love staying home with her every single day, getting to teach her things and watch her learn and grow. And I'm just obsessed with her and I want a million more of her. If all my babies could be like Ireland, I would have 50 of them because I'm obsessed. All right, I think that's all the cool information anyone would want to know about where she's at, what she's doing, what she's learning, and now you can see the fun stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. You put it on your eyes? Eyes. Oh, pretty. Yay. Yay. Oh, in your hair? Crazy.